Welcome back, everyone. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We are in San Jose for the Gala Awards. This is the GSA Awards celebration for the semiconductor industry. Um, it's a night where everyone gets together. It's the Oscars of the semiconductors. Uh, Danielle Schoen is here, CUBE alumni from Microsoft, Silicon Cloud, hardware engineer. Great to see you again. Thanks for coming back on theCUBE. We're, we're a red carpet vibe here. Yeah, it's great to see you. This is a lot of fun. Uh, this is the third time that I've been here to the GSAs. And it's just, it's super exciting to see the different groups and yeah. especially the ones that get the honorary awards, but yeah. you know, the smaller companies and the startups and everything that's new that's happening within the semiconductor They, re they respect the pioneers, you have the yes. awards, yeah. the up and comers, the, the public company, they got awards for everything now. They do, but well, it's you know, my first it's time, and I'm, I'm really psyched <laughs> to be here. And I think this is a pivotal time. When you came on the queue, and we had the, uh, the leaders on Palo Alto, um, silicon and hardware, it was a great year. I mean, reflecting yes. on this year, how would you describe this year? You know, this year, just everything to do with the cloud and with semiconductors and with silicon, it's just been explosive. Right, the AI transition just really is like that next revolution. I, I kind of equate it to when the internet first became a thing, AI yeah. is that level of revolution. People in are the amped industry. up. And yeah. the innovation, what's, what do you think is going to be like on, on the docket for next year? If you had to kind of continue, is it the same trajectory, more growth? What's the, what's the yeah. vibe feel like? Uh, you know, I think we're growing as fast as we can, but yeah. I think that torrid pace is going to continue for growth. Right. All right, so what do you expect tonight for awards? I don't know. I, I, yeah. I know, you know, NVIDIA took some awards last year. Um, a, a couple of the European companies took some awards last year. The up-and-comers are always super exciting, but I don't know. I, All right, I'm I'll not ask, a good predictor. I'll ask you a question <laughs> that won't get Microsoft PR involved, but okay. what's the coolest thing you're working on now? You can high level, um, just big picture. What's yeah. the coolest thing you're working on? Just the, the scale out within the cloud and the proliferation of SKUs, giving customers the right mix of AI hardware and just general purpose compute and storage, because it all has to go together. You can't have one without the other. And so just really the ability to bring everything together and give our customers the highest level of choice yeah. with respect to what they want to do. Yeah. But the, the growth is going to be the big thing. Yeah, Getting your hands on parts is going to be the big thing. Yeah. The supply constraints are real. <laughs> yeah, really real. And the, and the get smaller, faster, cheaper uh, theme of semiconductors is coming. One of the things I've been really watching carefully, I'd love to get your thoughts on this, is that I love the AI factor, I love the cloud, I love the silicon advancements, I love the AI infrastructure, but when you think about the edge, like yeah. with wireless hyper-converging, we're seeing hyper-converges at the wireless edge, imagine putting a little AI factory box yeah, that's... the size of a brick <laughs> in a retail outlet, <laughs> connecting all the wireless spectrum yeah. and wireless, unlicensed spectrum, yeah. That changes the game. It does, right? The, and those edge devices have to be just as capable as what's sitting there in your cloud because they're gathering that information and they're sending it to your cloud. And your phone can be the yeah. latest AI factory. That's what people expect, yeah. right? That's coming fast. It is. I think hyperconverged edge is going to be the biggest trend the next two years because that would open up all these agents to do their jobs. Yes. Because agents <laughs> can work across these factories. Yeah. You need the chips to do that, that's the problem. Right. And getting the individual agents <laughs> is easy. Orchestrating those agents is hard. Yeah. And that's really where the industry is Gotta going this engine. year. Great to see you, Daniel. Thanks for yeah. coming on, appreciate it. Uh, we're doing a quick grab, hallway grab with all the leaders here at the GSA Awards. Thanks for watching.